What's up guys, it's Darius Allen and I'm back here with another video and you see the title is really easy, straightforward, to the point. Let's get started. It's about SafeMoon. So how do you buy SafeMoon? And it's going to be really easy. It took me less than 10 minutes to purchase uh, my first amount of, of SafeMoon. So let's get into it. First things first, you need a Binance account. All right. Now, unfortunately, there are several states in the U.S. that will not allow you to have a Binance account. And they are right here. For those who do not have um, a Binance account and you don't wish to create a Binance account, you don't have to. You can go through a site called Crypto.com. That is an easier method, too. They take um, You can use debit cards um, to purchase BNB on that site. Moving on. Number two, transfer USD to Binance, and you can do this via wire, ACH, or um, using your debit card, and that usually just only allows small amounts. You can trade into BNB through different cryptos, such as Bitcoin, so BTC and USDT, and there's a few other trading pairs. Maybe I'll show it on the screen right now. All right. And before we go any further, after you have a Binance account, check. You need a Trust Wallet account, okay? That is very important. You have to have your Trust Wallet account. Uh, you can find it on the App Store for Apple users, iPhone users, or on Google Play for Android users, okay? And three, we're going in for the trade, all right? So you go in for the trade. You can do that here. Just click it. Now, it will already show your money is in there once you transferred it, and there is a verification process. Um, you know, take a picture of your ID, all this other stuff to be verified uh, with Binance. Whatever amount, 100%, whatever, click buy. That'll get you your BNB, and it will be in your wallet. Go ahead and open our trust wallet, okay? And that is here. So this is what it looks like when you first open a trust wallet, uh, the trust wallet app and you click create new wallet. Now, the next thing that pops up is very important. Once you click agree, um, you need to screenshot, copy it, paste it and save it somewhere important, like where you save your passwords or whatever, because this is your password. There's no username. There's no email address attached to it. If you lose this, that's it your money's gone you will not get it back now I already have a wallet so I'm gonna back out of that but just be sure that you save that okay so once you get there bam it'll look something like this not yet safe moon won't be popped up there yet so then you wanna click you see that up in the top corner the little settings icon in the top right hand corner click that and then you search safe moon and then you turn that on go ahead and send um, BNB to your trust wallet and make sure you copy the right address you want to copy the bnb uh receive address on your trust wallet so then you put your address in there the most optional select your amount submit and then you have to verify it they'll send you a text message and email and make sure you verify that okay now it's trying to uh swap bnb for smart chain so if you have one BNB, you'll have one smart chain. You want to go to the DEX right here with the arrows pointing opposite of one another. Click that. You have to leave a little bit for the network fee, which is like $3. So let's not take all of it. Let's just take, um, I'll just swap 0.30 right now. It gave me smart chain up top. You actually want smart chain on the bottom. So click the swap in the middle button that I click there and make sure that is correct um, I changed it to 0.32 um, I had enough in decimal placements for the fee um, and long as it goes through that means it works if you get an error message you might need to go down lower on the amount you want to swap so you can be able to afford the fee iPhone users this is very important iPhone users um, in order to open pancake swap you have to make sure that you can get the browser in this bottom section right here. So I haven't tried it on my iPhone yet. So I'm pulling up 
um, my trust wallet on my iPhone and so you can see it is not here on the bottom part it just says wallet Dex, and settings in order to get the D apps or the browser um, in your trust wallet you have to open Safari and then you type in this link which is a code is connecting uh, to the app enabling uh, the browser within the app pretty that's all it's doing hit go open bam now it's there once you have the Binance smart chain and again I highly recommend buying through binance.us because Binance is going to have the BNB all right that's the main token you need in order to get into safe mode this is where people are getting confused um, this is the main important thing transferring from wallets if you don't understand that there's a YouTube video out there that's the easy part but getting that swap down in pancake swap is the tricky part all right so once you have added um, use the link for iOS users and everything like that then we go into to open up the browser in your trust wallet we want to find pancake swap all right we click pancake swap it's going to load up on SafeMoon's uh, official Twitter account. It says to use version one, um, but I've had no problem using version two. So we're going to stay on version two. That's what I bought in with, and uh, that's where we're going to stay. You go down here and you see uh, exchange. We have it clicked on swap. Now, if you're not connected right here on enter amount, it's going to say connect you're going to connect your wallet okay that's on, on your first swap just make sure you connect it's not a big deal um, it's just connecting your trust wallet to pancake swap all right so select the currency and you can type it in here uh, which I already have it is safe moon click it it tells you you need to set your slippage to 12 percent because tax is 10 percent fee on each transaction uh, five percent distributed to all existing holders. Five percent used to add to liquidity. Um, just click I understand. Continue. And now you have to leave a fee because there's going to be a transaction fee. So it's not like on uh, a traditional like crypto exchange like Binance or Coinbase. The fee will be added in automatically. You have to leave a little bit of the balance so that fee can be taken from the balance. So you can't add. What you see here, my total 0.336497, you can't add that. So you have to leave a little bit of an amount for that fee. So for instance, let's just go, uh, I have 0.33 here, so let's just do 0.32. That should be enough. It's usually about a $3 transaction fee, uh, I believe. We'll see what happens. I don't know, because the 10% on the initial transaction with Safe Moon, uh, well, to go into Binance, to BNB to smart chain, it was a three dollar transaction, so it might be a little bit more here. Um, so we still we might have to go down. We'll see. So I'll start with 0 0.32, and right here it says estimated. All right, uh, price here. I think that's the price per safe move. Okay, sorry, no. So slip it, slippage dollars, all that stuff. So let's just see what happens. All right. So I'm gonna click swap. All right, it'll say connect wallet. You need to do that first. Uh, impact fee 0.02%, so slippage, liquidity provider fee 0.008 BNB, uh, so all of that looks good, so, uh-oh, it updated that fast, so I have to accept update, <laughs> and now hurry up and do it fast and confirm. Looks like it went through, so we go ahead and click approve. You can view it on uh, BSC scan if you want to view that transaction. And then if we go exit out of um, Pancake Swap, and now we're still in the Trust Wallet app. Click the wallet, uh, refresh it. Bam! Right here, it's there. That now you have Safe Move. And to get out is the reverse. So reverse um, from Safe Move. Binance Smart Chain. Now, I believe you can also send uh, the Smart Chain token to uh, Binance, but I have not looked into this. I have not uh, traded out of SafeMoon. Um, so then from Smart Chain to BNB and then send BNB to your Binance uh, wallet 
um, and then transfer that out to sell it for USD or BTC, whatever you want to, whatever supported, whatever trading pair supported, you can do that. Okay, so that is how you do it without having to go through like BitMart, which is like charges 40% on trading fees. Um, this is much lower fees involve using uh, Trust Wallet. So good luck, safe moon holders, and to the moon. This is Darius Allen, and again, if you like this video, please like it so other people can see it. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell. I have more videos coming out here in the future. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'm out. Peace.